Hello everyone, it's Bruce Fate and Steve Tinkham. And uh, we're coming to you today uh, from the Overland Park office. And uh, anyway, it's Thursday. We wanted to bring you the Friday rate update. And before we get going, I just want to say thank you to everybody that sent uh, messages and whatnot for, for me and my dad. If you didn't know, he, he did pass away last week, so I've been gone dealing with that. But I'm back now, back to work, and uh, appreciate any business you can send my way because now I need to get back in the groove of things. So just wanted to uh, say that real quick. So, And uh, there's been a lot of changes. Um, you know, I know that, that we, we know about it, but next week FHA changes the... Uh, the FHA funding fee and the mortgage insurance are increasing. Well, we call it the FHA tax, right? Pretty much it is. Yeah. yeah, it's an FHA government tax increase to our clients. So we as uh, lenders and as realtors need to know that. Uh, if you've got anybody on the fence right now, I mean, you know, they got to move right away if they want to uh, avoid that. The amount I think was about uh, it was it was from one percent on the funding fee to one point seven five. So let's just say it's a hundred thousand dollar loan. It's seven hundred fifty bucks. It just costs them additional on a funding fee, and then their their mortgage insurance goes up by point one zero percent. So another I don't know ten bucks a month. So yeah, which may not seem like a lot, but you know what? It's just another tax. Let's just call it what it is. It's, just it's a tax. change that we can't control, neither can you. So we roll with the punches. We, yeah. we get angry about it, but we got to roll with the punches. So uh, make sure you know that. There was a really interesting statistic we heard uh, this last week that there was $4 trillion worth of debt, I guess I should say, um, in lost equity, in lost equity in the states. And uh, we've said this a couple of times, but I think we got to be at the bottom. If not, we're real close to market. It's just a great time to buy. Um, I think the the stat came out that we housing prices are at the same level they were in 2002. Is that right? So which equals four trillion dollars. That so, that would be that would be where they come up with the numbers. It was ten years ago. Exactly. Years ago. Anyway, rates are really really still very good. This last week they've actually come back down just a hair. We're around four percent on a thirty year, around three and a half on a fifteen. FHA still three seven five. I know you and I have run into scenarios lately where we want to make sure we have a good pre-approval. I've, I've received a couple where they haven't gone through somewhere else, and I've gotten a call about, you know, hey, can we do this here? You know, generally speaking, FHA, VA, conventional, they're all they're going to follow Fannie's rules. And, uh, you know, things that, that come up in the, in the process. For example, I know a lot of people think, boy, if I have a 620 or if I have a 640, I'm good to go. Well, it's not all about just the credit score. Yep. The credit score is very important. A lot of investors will not accept anything under a 640, but if they've had a foreclosure uh, you know, a year and a half ago or they had a bankruptcy that long ago, there's other things that go into it. You have to get, as a lender, we have to get all the documents from the client, get it to an underwriter to make sure we're good. That's what we try to do. We try to get quick pre-approvals for people um, but at the same time, we don't want to make a mistake. So hopefully you guys understand that. I think you said you had yeah, one too. Just one, one quick example is that, you know, and this didn't come up because, you know, the client didn't seem to think it was an important uh, fact, but um, there was a foreclosure from the county. And they owned the house free and clear. It was, a, it was apparently just a piece of junk investment property down in the inner city that they lost to on a tax sale, and it was so run down that they were like, just gave it back to the county. Well, guess what? That's a foreclosure. Even though they didn't owe anything on it? The, the county foreclosed for taxes. Wow. And took it over. So, so that, that, you had a three-year rule then? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what never showed up on a credit report and a client never disclosed, came back to bite us at the end. Hmm. So hmm. so be careful on that. That's why we uh, we want to, to work with you. We want to give you a good pre-approval. So, uh, as you know, contact me. The button's right up here. Feel free to give me a shout or Steve a shout. Shoot us an email, whatever you need. We're here to, uh, to help you in your business. And uh, you guys uh, have a good weekend. I know there's a lot of Jayhawk fans out there that are hoping for a good weekend. They, they seem <laughs> to have their own pay for them, you know. <laughs> I, I know. They've got, it, they've got it right there for them. So have I you can't lost say, a coach this week? I mean, this has um, been... A K-State fan, it's been a rough week. <laughs> it has been a rough week, I have to admit. But you know what? We're going to find someone. Maybe we'll bring back Steve Henson or one of the boys from... From the old days, I call it. Knows, maybe Bobby and I will come <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> but anyway, you guys have a great weekend. All right, see ya.